Yo, Trump, tell him you innocent, bro. You innocent. I remember that. Trump, man. Man, free Trump, man. This is a witch hunt. We don't even know what he did. They just making stuff up. Free Trump 2024. 2024 all Trump all the way. Do you support Trump being indicted? Definitely not. That man is the GOAT. They just trying to set him up, for real. Trump 2024, for sure. Trump 2024. No, it's a witch hunt. They're doing whatever they can to get rid of him because they know he's powerful and they, they know he can actually do a good change in this country. My boy Donnie was watching. You have more supporters than you ever know, bro. Oh, I just seen that shit two days ago. Nope. They done tricked y'all dumbass to get Trump out the chair and now look how that shit done backfired on y'all dumbass. Trump got my back. Trump for life. But Trump is a real black man. He's just finding out that he's a nigga like us. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Historic moment. That's Big 45 right there. Stop playing. Oh, he copping, please. That's what I'm talking about. That's your president, nigga. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Yes, welcome back. ESPN commentator Stephen A. Smith defended former president Donald Trump from accusations that he is a racist, saying Trump not against black people during a new interview while reiterating he would not support him in an election. Smith noon for his brash commentary claimed that he once had a friendship with Trump a fellow New Yorker and dad, they used to talk sport, Smith spoke fondly of their relationship, saying he thoroughly enjoyed talking to him, though he did say that he would not vote for Trump for president, claiming that the man has changed since getting into politics. I, Trump I, I, yeah, you used to talk to him. You ever talk I to used, him anymore? I used, no, I don't. I used, I knew Trump before he ran for the presidency. I thoroughly enjoyed talking to him. He was a huge sports fan. He used to throw a lot of events um, at, 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 you know, at, at his casinos and stuff like that. And I genuinely liked him. I didn't know who this guy was running for president. Um, I think he's changed, but I will tell you this. I think when people call him racist and stuff like that, I've never thought of Trump that way. It's not, he's not against black people. He's against all things not named Trump. <laughs> Do you There's ever, a difference. That's impressive. No matter your political differences, you know, you can still stand up to defend someone you once knew. Some people immediately, they have political difference with you. They will skip up and talk only bad about you. They will forget your good side. I'm not actually a fan of this person, but when I saw this, it was impressive. You are white. I am black. White supremacy. Slave trade. Because you're white. Racial discrimination. African Americans. Black women. White privilege. White privilege. White privilege. White people should feel a certain amount of guilt. Black men. White analysts. Black dude. Racist. White dude. I am a black man. My blackness. A lot of racist out there. Racist. 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 Black guy versus a white guy. Racist. Racist. Race riots. White privilege. Black players. Colorism. Fairer skin. Racism. Racist. Racism. Racism. Black man. White people. A black young man white guys black man white girl black people we don't know but we do know this since you do want to bring it up we do know this that when it comes to mvp voting when it comes to mvp voting 80 percent of the MV of the voters are a white american 20 percent or other. The next day. I want to correct something here from yesterday's show. When Kendrick Perkins said 80% of NBA voters for the MVP award are white, the NBA publicly announces the voters each year, and after review, it is clear the panel is much more diverse than what was portrayed by Kendrick Perkins, and we wanted to make sure that we corrected. Yes, I believe you have since me. He has been a race beta for a very long time. If someone like this is still able to stand up for truth, then you can really imagine. I was shocked to actually hear him say this because he cannot make a sentence. He cannot make a complete sentence without mentioning issue of color. I'm black, you are white, you are this, you are that, you are this. But still able to stand up and defend the former president 
it is actually shocking. Yes, if it was someone that made these remarks, we would not even notice it. Because it's coming from him, you will see news articles publishing about this, then it should tell you a lot about what they know about this man when it concerns issues of race. Or maybe uh, Kamala Harris will end up uh, running for president because, so do I mean, you know, Biden can't even put on his own jacket anymore. It was, yeah, yeah, but, but, he's shaking people's hands who aren't there. I mean, he's, yo, he's old and old. Like, I'm he's one of those old, people old. where, like, I don't got to agree with everything y- you you do or your thoughts and everything. I don't think we'll ever do that with any other human being. But I'm simply look at, looking at life under two presidents and this motherfucker looks senile and I think that we need him out of there. Juice World, Lil Peep, with any time, give me my rappers back. And and Uncle Trump said, all right, well, we catch her. And y'all mad. Like, what's wrong with y'all? Yo, Uncle Trump trying to do what y'all, yo, he trying to clean up his screech, bro. Sorry. Y'all mad? It's not like he's saying, oh, here, you're going in the chair. When little peep died, y'all was like, oh, my God, I hate fat guy. Like, yeah. Don't you think that people should get in the chair? No. They charge us for that, by the way. And they charge a, a couple of niggas for Matt Miller shit, too. All them niggas who selling bad drugs, man. Uncle Trump trying to put them niggas in the chair. I'm sorry. Despite his filling out with Trump, Smith defended the former president and 2024 Gov presidential front runner from some of the intense media attack that have been made against him, including that he abhors racist view. Yes, I was impressed when I saw this. It doesn't mean if you have differences with someone, you will forget the past. He's still thinking what he had with the former president and still able to appreciate him, though he will not vote for him. This is enough. A lot of people have been saying this, that the former president is racist. He has made it clear that this is a lie, which is impressive. Some people easily forget because you have political difference with someone. The person has been your friend for a very long time. You will just get up and change. Because you want to paint the person black? No. If you notice something, he said he was, you know, cool before even joining politics. You know, joining politics, obviously you have to change to adapt to the system. And Smith doesn't see Trump like before. Any person will obviously feel the same. So in this case, you cannot stand up to say no. I'm not in support of Smith, but when I saw this actually standing up to defend these accusations, I was pleased.